weapon for yet, just so that we have uh, all we need to basically pin nope. someone down with it, or no? Not really. I fear for my life if I... I mean, I know about him. I never met him. Oh, you about the individuals once. that kidnapped me. The only problem is, I'm not going to make it here on these streets. I'm so mm. hungry. I've got no money to my name. Yes, he's running around. My oh, horse yeah. is I about to pass away. There you go. I appreciate that. You're too kind, milady. Thank you so much. Oh, no worries. Um... Hey, do you want to maybe walk me through what happened? We can step off to the side here so nobody sees you talking of to course, me. Of course, of course. What's your name, good miss? Uh, my name is Deputy Tabitha Thorne. Nice to meet ya. Alrighty, so. I'll keep my voice down up here. Um... Okay, and you said your name was... Randall? Is that one L or two? Give me one second, my lady. Um, I haven't eaten in days. It's been weeks. What? Don't mind me. What? That's okay. Yeah. <sighs> it feels so good. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's been years since I've lost eight. All right, so you said <sighs> your name was Randall, right? Is that one L or two L? That's L's? correct. It's going to be two L's. Two L's, okay. And your yes. last name? Uh, Bullington. And that's B-U-L-L-I-N-G-T-O-N? -L that is correct. You are very intellectual. Oh, well, I thank you. Okay, and uh, as for your telegram number, are you comfortable giving that to me in case we get any leads or anything? And this would be strictly business, correct? Of course. I would give you my telegram number, my lady, but I've forgotten it. Alrighty, that's fine. Okay, uh, so Mr. Bullington, from the beginning, if you could just walk me through what it is that happened when you were taken, or basically whatever happened first. We saw it back in 19... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I believe it was 1853. I was uh, born out of my mother's womb. Oh, no, no, no. That's a little bit too far back. Oh. Yeah, a little too far back. Uh, I'm talking about when, um, when you were kidnapped and then tortured and then threatened. Oh, right. Of course, of mm -hmm. course. I was on my way. I believe I was hunting with my good friend. I forgot his name. And I went to the telegram to send him a message. Send him a letter of endearment saying, thank you so much for taking me under his wing and showing me how to hunt. As I sent the message for, I believe, half a cent, two individuals busted into the bank with guns out. And they told me to put my hands up. Of course, I'm going to comply because I'm no fool. I don't want to die. So I complied. They put me in a lasso, tied me up. They actually cut the blood circulation from my hands, leaving my hands nice and blue, which hurt tremendously. Then they put me on the back of their horse. They took me all the way to, I believe, Ansberg. Is that, is that a place? Is that a town around here? Uh, yes, Ansberg is all the way to the northeast. Yes, that's where they took me down to. And then... Okay, so let's was, uh, let's uh, yeah, was... just go back really, really quick. So you were sending a telegram. No Which telegram office was this? Was it in Valentine? It's going to be the one in Valentine, yes. Okay, so two individuals burst in with their guns out, uh, and they yes. told you to put your hands up, and they yeah. tied you up, and they put you on the back of their horse, and they took you to Ansberg. Yeah, so me one female. I believe she had, like, blondish brown hair. And then a very tall, sexy individual man. I believe he had black hair. Okay. Is there anything else you can recall about them, or is that about it? Um, I believe they said they owned a bar, and the, the female actually asked me to go out for a drink with her after... Well, if I made it out alive or not. She found me very charming, I believe. Um, as far as where that bar is, I'm not too sure. It wasn't in Valentine. I'm not too sure exactly where the bar is. Hmm, okay. 
If I look at my map over here, I believe... Yeah, I could not tell you, my lady. I have no clue. That's okay. Alright, so they said they owned a bar. And it was yes. one male, one female. Okay. Yes. Now... I was, yep. Go on. I was put on the back of the female's horse. And they told me they were trying to save an individual called Jack. Now, did they specify a last name? You know, if you give me the names of other Jacks in this town, I believe I could identify which okay. one. Uh, well, there's Jack Thompson. There's Jack Kettleman. Kettleman, that's the one. That's the one. Jack Kettleman. I cannot forget okay, that name. Okay, so they were trying to save Jack. Yes. Uh-huh. And he was locked inside the sheriff's office down at Ansberg, I believe. Okay. Yes, and then the lady eventually she put a gun to my head. The the sheriffs came out of the the station, and I believe there was a quite large individual wearing all red. My savior, I may call him. I believe his name was Baba, and he offered me falafel and told me to remain calm and that I would be safe no matter what. Unfortunately, the sheriffs did not let. <coughs> <coughs> Did we go inside? Are you alright? You think we go inside? The rain is getting to me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go um underneath the awning. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, right. Right, much better, much better. Okay, so the sheriffs did not let you go inside. And no, so basically they... I believe the individuals pulled up outside of the sheriff's office. They threw me to the ground and told me to remain calm. And I would not die today. Unless the sheriffs messed up or did some tomfoolery to their friend Jack. Otherwise I would have been shot dead then and there. And my whole life would have been over. So the sheriffs mm -hmm. came out. The sheriffs told them we cannot let your friend go. You shall be sentencing up to a place beginning with C. Maybe I'm not too sure of the name again. I forgot. Uh, Siska. Siska, that's time. correct. Siska. Mm -hmm. uh, and then sure. the two individuals said, "All right, we shall leave." Wait, and wait. they left, and they left me in the mud tied up. The sheriffs came over, massaged mm -hmm. my hands, and uh, let me go. Now, I just forget one key detail. They horses, did rob me it, of $50. Y'all. Oh, That's all I had to I my name. It was y'all. Oh, I'm sorry about that. No, I mean, a few people did just leave and with they, their horses. And they punched my horse in the kidney. In the kidney? Yes. <laughs> my horse was parked. But <clears throat> my horse was, I do, uh, I do agree that it does look rather... Hitched, of course. Hitched. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, outside of fair. Valentine. No, somebody just came and the came, He's doing came great, in. Canadian. They got me hostage. Oh, we they went back off. to my horse and punched it somewhere in the abdomen. Which I take exception to. I don't like people doing So that to my the horse. individuals that kidnapped you no, punched your horse? So. Yes, exactly. Yeah, oh, goodness. As far as I'm, I'm aware, sorry. It wasn't any of us. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry about that. Apologize. Are you all right? No, I'm not. It's traumatizing. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, you're safe now. Nothing. Of course, uh, of course. No harm's gonna come to you from any of this, cause uh, this just helps us get the bad guys put away for a little bit longer, you know? Yes, of course. Eventually, they shall justice shall be served. Mhm. Mm and to I be quite honest you. with you, a lot of times they uh they do so many bad things that it ends up that they don't even remember who they did what to. So, we won't be reminding them of any names or anything like that, okay? Of course. I think eventually, somewhere down the line, maybe a year or two from now, I shall build myself up as a man, build myself respect, my self-worth, <laughs> and go after these entire individuals and take them down single-handedly. Oh, no, 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 no. I would recommend... I shall pop a bullet straight oh, into sir, those, those, that heads. is, that is, that is... And I will, those are criminal oh. threats, sir? My apologies, apologies. I realize that you are very heightened right now, and I, I'm so sorry that you went through what you did. Uh, however, you know, you just keep us informed, and we will do our job so that we don't have to lock you up for trying to be a vigilante, you know? I would never do such thing as vigilanteism. 
Fuck mm -hmm. that.